Hey, Bitsalami, it's me, Presley. The Adopt Me test server is open, and they have a brand new update, the roleplay update. This includes criminals, hairdressers, and detectives as three brand new jobs that you can have in Adopt Me, and you can do some pretty crazy things with each one. Let's go start testing and parent, and let's take a look at this. So, we're currently in our house, and I got given a ton of awesome things. So, warning, this is a test server, so nothing will save, and servers will shut down frequently. I understand. That's just to let people know that don't like spend your robux in here because it will be deleted if you spend robux uh don't decorate your house too much because it will be deleted and don't grind because you can get money for free and you know it's gonna get deleted <laughs> adopt me gave us 1715 bucks they pretty much gave us all of the different robux houses and for me they gave me all of the robux game passes look at this and the ones that don't say owned say unlock again which is really good also in our backpack we got two horses a lavender dragon and a griffin as well as some other assorted pets we also got given all of these vehicles, which is pretty cool. And the toys, we got a glider, hot dog stand, and beast blaster. No gifts. And you can see there's actually a brand new role play section. So if we teleport to gifts, we can take a look at three brand new buildings Adopt Me has added in. Let's just take a look at the very first one, the criminal base. I think that's what Adopt Me is going to call it. So over here, we can see some random moving vans, which is a brand new free vehicle that you can get. We can see here it is, the moving vans, and here is the criminal base. So we can see there's a criminal right here who just jumped in their car. And above your name, oh, whoop. bye bye, Mr. Criminal. Okay, maybe they're all running away. Maybe they thought we were a detective because that's a new job. But let's take a look at what happened. So you walk into this area and when you go up here, you might see a couple of people in here like getting their roles. But if you walk over here, you'll see your avatar with the criminal suit on. And what you want to do is just grab that criminal suit, become criminal. And we can see now it actually changes your shirt, like a pinstripe shirt, your pants to black. And now you look like a full criminal. And just to say that you are a criminal, it's above your head in a massive blue button. Now this area is pretty cool. We've got like some shipping crates over here, some lights up here. It's like a really awesome area. And then all over here, we've got this little board as well as these two items. So here we have the heist gloves for furniture stealing. I'll explain what that is later. And the baseball bat. The baseball bat is literally just for show and it's for role playing if you wanna like smash through a window or something. Okay, then what we can do is head up here into a secret little criminal base. And this is a criminal area where you can like talk about your plans. And Pretzelami, yes, I have tried. You can't go through the vent. I thought the vent would be like a cool little feature you can go through. But no, maybe they'll add it soon. Because there is another vent that we can go through in a dummy. Okay, let's head through here. And last but not least, another free item. So there's actually three, three, three free... Three free items you can get in here. There is the heist gloves and the baseball bats. And then also is the third one is the drive moving truck. And then it gets added to your inventory. So let's go, let's head outside and let's quickly check that there's no detectives trying to catch us out. Okay, there's no sneaky detectives on this server. Let's go. So we can see in the roleplay section, any free roleplay items we get, get put into here. So we've got the heist gloves and the baseball bat and then also the uh, moving truck, which is pretty cool. So these vehicles are free and they actually stay in your backpack. They don't leave your backpack. So once you have one, you can literally just keep it forever. So that's a cool little free item that you can get in Adopt Me. And that will be pretty awesome because if new players join and they want a vehicle, they can just grab a moving truck. But here we have me, Presley the criminal, in his moving truck with his gloves currently on. Because wearing the heist gloves, you can rob other people's homes. That's a brand new item that they've added. So let's just go to a random house. This house looks pretty good, Pretzel Army. This person seems kind of rich. We can see another criminal walking over there. That's one of my criminal buddies. <laughs> Let's enter the house and let's see what furniture that we can steal. No, their door's locked. Oof. Okay, maybe we can head over here to Poopy Poopy 321's house. There we go. We can steal some furniture in their house. Okay, let's go. So you can actually steal random furniture items. So we just got, literally, we just stole a lamp. We just stole a lamp out of their house. And we can go and yeet it into the moving truck. Okay, here's our moving truck over here. Let's go. Let's open it up and yeet our items. So to yeet it, you just click. And then that'll use it straight in there and the item will fit in. Wait, no, that person left the server. They must have realized that I was robbing their house. Okay, let's close up our moving truck and let's head to the next house. And, and then maybe next we could become a detective and then we can go and catch some criminals. Okay, let's go. Let's head into here. Let's grab some more furniture. Okay, let's head in. Ooh, what's happening? So there's a couch there. I think we want something pretty cool, not just a couch. Okay, if we go under here... Whoa, there's so many posters in here. All of the posters, 
Okay, we can actually steal the posters though and we can take them off and just eat them Let's just go and make a massive pile of posters. Oh my gosh. Look at this. There's so many posters on the floor now <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy Okay, what else can we steal? There's some secret rooms in here. Oh, there's another light. What if we just steal all the lights in an Adopt Me Home? <laughs> Since we stole a lamp before, and now we can steal a studio light. Let's go. Let's head back outside and yeet that in. Okay, when I was testing it last night uh, on Mother's Day, I actually... <laughs> What I did was pretty crazy. Oh, here we go. That's my van. Let's close that. What I did was pretty crazy. I actually stole a palm tree. Literally, I stole a palm tree, which was pretty crazy. Like, it was so massive. Let's see if we can find anything crazy like that. Okay. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, no, we crashed into somebody's house. Oh, no. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, you know what? I think I'm a pretty bad criminal. Like, I am not very stealthy. Let's go. Let's teleport back to the gift, and let's head to the police station. We can also see a map change. So, over here... At the ice cream place, we go and like it splits the road and there's two different sections. There's this section, which really just has the pizza place and a branch. And then there's the other section, which has the brand new hair salon, which I'll touch on in a sec. And then we've also got the private detective room. Wait, somebody handcuffed you? No, I forgot that I was still a criminal. No, I forgot I was still a criminal. No, 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 no. Don't take me. Don't take me. Please don't take me. No, 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 no. Okay. Ah! Okay, we can actually get sent to jail if we're still a criminal. So here we go. We're in jail. Oh, wait. No, please. Let me out, buddy. Let me out. Oh, my gosh. Are they... Yeah, they're a detective. So they don't want me to get out of jail. Okay. So there's actually a 15-second countdown when you first jump in. There's 15 seconds until you can open it up. And... Here we go. Oh, let's open it. There we go. Yes, we got through. Okay, we're escaping jail, pretzel army. Let's run. <laughs> I just swapped out of being a criminal, and now we can go into here, and we can actually become a detective. And the items we can get when we're a detective are over here on a desk somewhere. Why? I've lost, I've lost the handcuffs. There we go. There's the handcuffs. So you can grab handcuffs, and then there's also some other rooms, like here. There's just this random room, and it has the same door for moving trucks. So, can we actually put the moving truck in here? I wonder, Fred Salami. Okay, let's go. The moving truck. No, we can't spawn the moving truck in there. Okay, let's go. Let's just walk through here. So, only detectives are allowed in here. And let's go through. Oh, my gosh. So, there's little rooms like this. And then in here, there's actually a sewer. But no one knows how to get into the sewer yet. It's been a bit of a mystery. <laughs> but maybe we could do a glitch later to see what's in the sewer. Okay, let's also go through here, and it's literally just an office. There's, like, libraries and stuff with posters, a staff room. It's nothing too much in here. They're, it's super awesome, but, you know, nothing we really want to look at. What we really want to do is we want to use our handcuffs to go and arrest criminals. And I think the best place to arrest criminals is all the way over here in the criminal base. Now, the names haven't actually been confirmed by Adopt Me, but I think the police station and criminal base is what they're going to call it. But let's go. Let's head into here. We're actually a detective heading in, and in in here we can go and handcuff people let's go handcuff 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 wait oh we can't we can't use handcuffs in criminal base okay let's go let's head outside and let's find an actual criminal <laughs> well a criminal that we could handcuff outside of the criminal base okay is that guy a criminal no he's not but if we just stand out here maybe someone will walk out as a criminal and we can catch them as they're walking out okay oh there's this guy here nope they're not a criminal okay we just need to watch Ooh, is, are, are there any, are there going to be any criminals that walk out of here, pretzel army? Ooh, come on. Oh, yes, there we go. There's a criminal. Let's go. Let's get them. Oh, my gosh. Ah, it was being so glitchy for a second. Let's go. Uh, that's a criminal right there. Uh, let's grab them. Oh, my gosh. Uh, send it to jail. Let's go. We just handcuffed them and sent them to jail. Bam, off they go. <laughs> let's go, pretzel army. We actually just handcuffed our first criminal. So as of now, oh wait, nope, there's another one. Oh wait, nope, they got teleported over there as well. Oh, this person's here though. Let's go, get closer. We successfully handcuff them and then we can send them to jail. So you first need a handcuff and then you can send them to jail. But Pret Salami, this is actually pretty good. So right now you don't get a paycheck. I thought we would like get a paycheck if we're a detective and we're doing a really good job. Or like if we robbed homes, we could get like 10 bucks even for every single piece of furniture that we steal. But no, right now you can't get any money, but maybe they'll change that because in the test server, things always change. Okay, uh, let's take away our handcuffs because we don't want to be a detective anymore. Detective work, it's just too stressful. We want a bit of a more chill job over at the hair salon. Okay, let's end it here and let's play around with the different features we have. So not many people are usually in here, but there is actually a dog right here and let's go so we can become a hair stylist just like this 
oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> And then we can also grab colored hairspray and we can choose what color. So let's go with a nice blue color for now. And then we can use this to go and dye the pet a certain color. So look, we just completely dyed this dog blue. And then we also dyed our horse blue. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. Let's put our horse down there. Let's change the color to green. We can make it like a pastel masterpiece. And then once the pet gets dyed, we can stop. Okay, let's go. Come on. Uh, there we go. The ears are green. And then let's head over here. Let's get a pink one. Oh my gosh, it's going to look so cute. Come on. Let's go. This is the final color to put on our horse pet. Okay, what's it going to look like? Come on. We're an amazing stylist. This has to look amazing. Become pink. Please. Please, do it for me. Okay, so our unicorn fell asleep. And I don't think you can dye pets while they're asleep. Because they don't like it. But we can also pick up this and we can head into this room. But... Let's go, let's head into here. So let's head into here. And in here, you can, you know, have your horse go to sleep and have your pet. And you can also do some work here. Or you could do your own hair. You can do your own hair in the mirror. And then you can also become what seems to be a manager. Like, I can't really figure out what this role is. So you're just a hairstylist with a key, which is weird. Okay, also our task, complete a need. Let's go, let's grab that. But over here, if you don't like the color of your pet, you can uncolor them. And oh, let's go. Let's head into here. Let's grab our horse. Come on, buddy. I know you don't like being blue anymore. <laughs> so let's go. We're going to uncolor pet in here. So when that happens, it says your pet's colored hair dye is faded. Visit the salon again to get a new color. And this also happens after 20 minutes. So if we go and one more time, let's dye our pet's hair one more time. Let's do a nice pink color this time. Done. And let's spray paint our horse. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh, yes, there we go. So now we can see that it takes 20 minutes for the hairspray to fade. And when you're a hairstylist, other people can pick up your pets and they can like walk your pets around and like do more stuff to your pets. So just know that that can happen. But look at our cute little horse. It's pink and green and blue. That's so cute. Okay, let's head outside. And this does also work outside of here. But look out for the scams because there will be a couple of scams of people saying they have diamond horses and diamond, just different types of diamond and golden pet. When really they've just dyed their pet yellow. Wait, we just had a robber enter our home. Okay, Pretzelami, we need to go. Let's grab, do we have like anything to go over with? Okay, let's grab our glider. Let's become a detective and let's head over to our house and stop that robber from being mean. <laughs> let's go to here, become a uh, detective, not a robber. Okay, let's head back home. We just reset. No, resetting actually deletes it. And I think the robber might have left our house already. No. <laughs> okay, if we go out here, nope, the robber is long gone. Oh. Find the test server, just search up Presley Official in here. Go to my profile and then you'll be able to scroll down and you'll see the Adopt Me test lab right here. Alongside these three other games, there'll be the Adopt Me test server. And if there's people in the server, that means you can join. But if there's no people in the server and it says this experience is private, you can't do much about that. But recently Adopt Me has been opening their test server quite a few times. So maybe Pretzelami, they'll open it again super soon. But if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Have the best day ever. Peace.